Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. I don't want to go to school. No, no, no. I'm not going to school. No, I'm, I don't want to take the test. No, I'm not doing it. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Oh, oh, thank goodness it's Saturday. I was thinking I had to go to school today, and I was like, no way. Oh, I can't go to school six days a week. I just can't do it. Oh, I'm surprised my mom hasn't woken me up for breakfast. Usually she makes pancakes or waffles or something super delicious on Saturdays. Oh, I don't usually wake up too early, though, because, um, yeah, I'm tired on Saturday. Duh. <laughs> Do, 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 do. It's Saturday. Good morning, Molly. Good morning, Daisy. Ew, you have stinky morning breath. Fine, I'll go brush my teeth. Picky, picky. Brush teeth. Do, 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 do. Brushing my teeth. Do, 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 do. Great, now my breakfast is going to taste like peppermint toothpaste. Ew. Mom! You're not mom! What are you doing, Dad? Oh, just trying to figure out what I'm going to make for breakfast. I think I got it solved, though. Pizza from last night? Cold? Ew! Wait, where's Mom? Your mom's still sleeping. What? No, she's not. Don't joke around. She's probably just watching the news. Mom! Mom! Where is my mom? She always makes Saturday morning breakfast. This is weird. He's not lying, Molly. She's still in bed. Mom, you've overslept. It's Saturday. What are you doing? Shh, Molly. The baby is sleeping. Um, okay, but why are you sleeping? <sighs> baby Jack kept me awake all night last night. I'm so tired. Why do you do something silly like that? Why didn't he fall asleep? He's such a party animal. <laughs> he wanted to stay up and watch cartoons and eat pizza all night, didn't he? Well, first of all, Molly, Baby Jack eats bottles. He doesn't eat pizza yet. And, well, second of all, babies just do that sometimes. They keep you up. Now, shh, go away. <laughs> you told me to go away on a Saturday. You're funny. Yeah, but I wasn't kidding, Molly. Go away. Okay, fine, Mom. See, told you, Molly. Okay, girls, a delicious breakfast awaits you. Dad, chili and pizza. Hey, there's some grapes there, too. That's that's morning stuff. Whatever, Molly. It's breakfast, isn't it? I don't even want to sit next to that chili. It's stinky, stinky doo-doo. Molly, that's not nice. Well, I'm just saying, it smells horrible. I guess I can eat this pizza. I don't know what's wrong with eating chili in the morning. Mmm, I think it's delicious. Dad, you're weird. I know. <laughs> mm. Okay. The cold pizza wasn't horrible, I guess. See, Molly wasn't so bad, was it? Molly, quit eating other grapes. I wanted some, too. Sorry, I didn't know, and I'm super hungry. Glug, 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 glug. Ah, delicious. What should we do today, Molly? It's Saturday. We have the whole day ahead of us. Dad, don't don't you want to go, like, mow the lawn or something? Nah, it'll be too loud. It'll wake up your mom and the baby. But, Dad, I want to watch the Brightly Colored Unicorn. It's Saturday. You're not supposed to watch the news on Saturday. I think it's a great idea. Look, waffles are super healthy. Breaking news! Ugh. Oh, this is going to be a great Saturday. My dad's home, and he's taking over the TV. 
You could go watch the TV in the hot tub. Great idea, Dad! Daisy, get out of the hot tub! Marty, you'll have to share with. Okay, fine, but I don't want to share it here because basically I can't see from that angle. Okay, that's better. Ah, this is the life. Girls, your mom said you have to do your laundry. No, she didn't. She doesn't make us do that on Saturdays. Yes, she does, Molly. Shh, Dad doesn't know that. Girls, where are you? You have to do your laundry, Mom said. Um, no, Mom doesn't make us do our laundry on Saturdays. Oh, nice try, girls. Go do your laundry. Fine. Mom, we miss you. Why do you miss Mom? She'd make us do more chores than Dad. What? She makes you do more chores? No, I just met Mom. We missed you because you make us waffles for breakfast, not chili and pizza and grapes. That was that was a weird breakfast, gotta say. I'm sweeping because I'm the best kid in the world. I'm sweeping because I'm the best kid in the world. Molly, don't mock me. Molly, don't mock me. Rude, Molly, rude. Doing my laundry on a Saturday. It's super stinky. You could say that again, Molly. What do you have, dirty diapers in there? Oh, ha ha, Daisy. You know I've been potty trained for at least a year now. <laughs> Just to you, Molly? Well, you know, I was kind of late on that. <laughs> oh, whatever, Molly. You're so funny. Is it not drying? Dry it already! Molly, don't get mad at the dryer. It's not the dryer's fault. I know. Just I don't want to do laundry. Ugh. Look at me. I can't even walk straight. All this laundry is so heavy. Well, if you did it more often than once a week, you probably wouldn't have to do that. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay. Store my clothes. Perfect! Now, what should I do? I know! I'll play with my unit! Corn. She's so adorable, like seriously. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Molly, get out of the way, I have to sweep the room. No, I'm playing I'm playing with my brightly colored unicorn sparkles. Sorry, Molly, I have to clean now. Ugh, why is everyone annoying me today? I'm going outside. Burr, it's kind of cold out. Oh my gosh, guys, it's cold out. Do you dare me to jump in the pool? I double talk to you, Molly! It's like the polar bear club. What's the polar bear club? Okay. So all these people, you see they're like really old people. What? Old people doing doing what? Being polar bears? That's what they call it because um they all wear their bathing suits in the middle of winter. What? That sounds crazy! Why would a bunch of old people do that? I don't know. They just like being a part of this polar bear club. Anyway, let me finish what I was saying, Molly. The polar bear club, they jump in a pool or a lake in freezing cold water. But wouldn't the old people have a heart attack? I don't know. Maybe, but they do it anyway for fun. And now you can do it. I dare you to be a part of the polar bear club. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Ah, 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 it's freezing. It's freezing in here. Oh, my gosh. Ah. Are you in the pool? Girls? Uh-oh. Don't tell Dad. I'm gonna go hide behind the slide. Girls? Are you in the pool? Where's Molly? Um, I don't know. I don't really know. Okay, as long as she's not in the pool. Uh, it's freezing in here. Uh, go away, Dad. Uh-oh. He's coming to this side of the pool. Gotta swim over here. Gotta run. Gotta run to the back of the building. Molly, is that you running around? Molly, are you... Did you go swimming in the pool? Um, nope. Molly! Oh, go change your clothes before you catch a cold. I just want to be a part of the polar bear club. My dad says I have to go change my clothes. Let's see, what can I change into? A mermaid? Rapunzel? Ah, this outfit's perfect. Normal is boring. I better make my bed before my dad tells me I've got to do that too. 
Perfect! Daisy, I have an idea for something fun to do! Daisy? Daisy, did you join the Boiler Bear Club? Wait a minute, I was gonna say, Daisy, let's play hide and seek, but she already read my mind, and she's already hiding, and now I don't know where she is. <laughs> okay, Daisy, well, ready or not, here I come. Maybe she's in the clubhouse. Nope, not in the clubhouse. Well, maybe she's behind the stairs. It's like the perfect hiding spot. Oh, Daisy, where are you? You guys see her at the bottom of the pool? Yeah, me either. Sometimes we hide down there. Mom, are you finally awake? Yes, everybody's playing music really loudly. I love Roblox, yes I do. I love Roblox, how about you? Ah, oh, we're singing. I thought we were playing hide and seek. No, Molly was singing. Let's sing a Christmas song next. Oh, how can I deny you guys singing Christmas songs? I mean, it is the happiest time of the year, isn't it? It sure, certainly is. Santa Claus comes. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, brother, we need to hire a new single. Ah, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Well, I better make my bed because, you know, my mom will be so mad at me if I don't. <laughs> She's like, Molly, quit being so lazy. No, seriously, don't be lazy. Let's go see where everyone is. Mom, what's for breakfast? Good morning, Molly. Mom, did you already make chocolate chip cookies? I sure did. Can I have one? Um, they're supposed to be for later, Molly. Later is in like one second from now. One, it's time to eat it. Molly, no, you're not supposed to eat that right. Molly, it's supposed to be for our little like party we're having with friends later. Ew, chilly in the morning. Yuck, mom. Um, that's also for the party later. Duh, I'm not gonna feed you that for breakfast. Well, that's a good thing, mom. Why don't you go wake up Daisy and tell her I'm making muffins and all sorts of delicious stuff for breakfast. Will do, Mom, but she can't eat any of those chocolate chip cookies. They're all mine! <laughs> Daisy! Daisy! Uh, uh. Daisy, are you having a bad dream? Daisy, wake up, wake up! Molly, stop jumping at me! I couldn't throw up! Oh, no! Did you eat too many of those cookies that were in the kitchen? Don't lie. Tell the truth. Tell the truth! Molly, stop yelling so loud. You're making my head hurt even worse. What? Are you telling me that you're sick right now? No. I... Okay. Yeah, but don't tell mom. What? Why wouldn't I tell mom? Because I have the science expo today. And, well, I'm going to be showing off my new experiment. What? What did you try to do with your experiment? Did you try to make it so that we never have to do homework again? That's the only experiment I would ever do. No, Molly. It has to do with time travel. <laughs> Oh, wow. Ew, you're like all germy and stuff. Are you being for real? Of course I am, Molly. You know how much this science expo means to me. You know I wouldn't just make it up. Yeah, okay, I believe you. But I do think we need to tell Mom. No, she won't let me go. Precisely, Daisy. You can't go to the science expo if you're sick. But I want to. No, you can't, Daisy. I'll be fine. See, I feel better already. Ha, ha, achoo! Ooh, I don't feel so bleh. Ew, Daisy, yuck! Germs, 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 germs! Mom! Mom, I have germs! What are you yelling about, Molly? Mom, why is there chili on the breakfast, on the breakfast table? Oh, <laughs> oops. I didn't mean to put that out right now. What's going on? Daisy just threw up in the toilet. It was gross. What? Daisy? Daisy, are you okay? Oh my gosh, she sounds like she's sick. I know, Mom, don't go in there. You're gonna get her cooties. She has germs. 
Well, Molly, I'm her mom. Of course I'm going to take care of her. Daisy, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm just fine. Um, I'll be, uh, I too, I'll be waiting out. Why are you sneezing then? Hello, cheese. Oh, Daisy, you look terrible. Gee, thanks, ma'am. Well, I mean, you're beautiful, but you looked like you're sick. You should get right back in bed. I saw her. She threw up in the toilet. She's got to go right back to bed. I do not, Molly. I'm not sick at all. She's making it up. I have to go to the science expo. Ew, what smells so bad? Huh. <laughs> Sorry. Molly, go in the bathroom and take a bath. Okay, fine. I'm just going to lay down here for a little bit until I have to leave. Okay, Daisy. Um, I think you should rest today and not go to the science expo. No, Mom, I could you? Uh, uh, achoo! Just face it. You're full of germs and you can't go. Okay, but Mom, could you bring me some orange juice? Okay, Daisy, I'll bring you some. Now, Molly, you are so stinky. Go get in the bathroom. All right, fine. Always wants me to do a chore of some kind. Hey guys, what do you think of this super cool Star Qu Squad shirt? You can get it in Roblox by searching Star Squad shirt on Roblox, or you could get it in real life by going to Star Squad dot shop. We also have backpacks and squishy, comfy, awesome pillows and piggy shirts. You guys can check it out by clicking on the description box below this video. Okay, I'm clean. Hello. Okay, well, guess no one's here. I'm going to have to eat one of these delicious muffins by myself. Molly, that's supposed to be... Are you going to eat all of them? No, Mom, just one of them. Hmm, okay, maybe two. Maybe four. Molly, save some for everyone else. Why? Nobody else wants to eat any. They're all sick. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. All right, well... Oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, M G, Dad? Ugh. Oh, there's a hammer going off in my head. Dad, are you okay? No, so sick. Ugh. Oh my gosh, everybody in my house has a stomach flu right now. Oh, honey, I made some of your favorite chili for the party. What chili? Get that away from me! Oh, yuck! Oh. Where, where are you going? I'm going into the bathroom to throw up! Blech. Oh, look, some of my friends are here. Sorry, Molly, none of your friends can come in right now. What? Why? Because we're all sick. I'm not sick. You're not sick. Well, okay, well, your dad and Daisy are. Oh, man. Cookie front, friend, friend, cookie fan. I can't say her name. Brianna's at the door. I'm sorry. I. We're all sick. You can't come in right now. But, okay, I gotta tell her. Hi. Oh, I'm terrible at typing. We are all... Sick. Boo. Sorry, we can't play right now. We don't want you to catch it. Well, hopefully you and I don't catch it, Molly. I feel fine. I'm gonna eat enough another one of these muffins since nobody else can. Molly! Molly! Oh, great. And now I have to deal with my sick sister. Great. What is it, Daisy? No one ever brought me my orange juice. Daisy, did you even turn on the light? It's right here. Oh, I didn't even see it. I'm so sick. Oh my gosh, Daisy. I think you'll be fine. Ha ha! Achoo! Why are you sneezing, Molly? No reason. Probably just some dust in the air or something. Maybe my unicorn farted. <laughs> Do unicorn farts make you sneeze? Absolutely! Well, Molly, what are we going to do now? Looks like we're going to be nursing Dad and Daisy back to health. <sighs> Good point. Ha! <sighs> Achoo! Uh-oh, Mom. I hope you don't have the stomach bug. No, I think I'll be fine. I just need to get some of my energy up by eating some of this delicious food. Okay, well, I'm going to go in my room and close the door and put on a gas mask. <laughs> what should I do? Oh, I, I'll send a message to Brookie Cookie. Maybe she'll actually be on the... Whoa, no, I don't want to change the picture. Just want to get on my computer. 
Dear Brookie, something crazy is happening at my house. Everyone is turning into aliens or zombies. I'm not sure which. Oh, she wrote me back. What? Everyone's turned into aliens or zombies. What are you talking about? That sounds scary. Do you need to come over? <laughs> LOL. Just kidding. My whole family's got the stomach bug, except for me and mom. Ew, gross. On second thought, don't come over here. I don't want your germs. What? I'm not. Ah, shoo. Sick. I think you just probably sneezed on the keyboard, didn't you? How did you know that? Are you spying on me? Are you outside the window? Okay, no, she's not really. <laughs> Molly, I wasn't outside the window. I just know you. And if you got sick, you would admit it. What? Ugh. Oh, that's not true. Oh, my stomach's upset. I would totally admit it. Um, I bet your stomach's upset right now. No, it's not. Oh, gosh. I have to go to the bathroom. Ugh. Ugh. Ew, Dad, you're throwing up in my toilet. Gross. Gross. Oh, my God. Call 911. This is so disgusting. Bleah! Sorry. All the other toilets were taken. Oh, my gosh. Hurry up. No, I need to go in there. Oh, I'm going to go to the bathroom really bad. Oh my gosh, this is what it's like when you have the stomach bug in your whole family. Well, that's okay, I'll just go into Daisy's room, I guess. Oh my god, no one paid the bills! Now we're also in the dark! Okay, I've got to do everything around here because everybody's sick. Achoo! But not me, I'm not sick. Nope, can't be a sick. Nope, nope, I can't. Better pay the bills, better pay the bills. Done! Wow, I have like 11,000 Robux. I feel like somebody must have given me some money. If you did, thank you very much. You're amazing. You're also amazing if you didn't give me money. So, you know, you're amazing either way. Okay, where are all the lights? I don't even remember where they are in my own house. Okay, here we go. Who turned out all the lights? I'm dark and I can't see. Ah, everything's fine, Daisy. Oh, my stomach is really gurgling. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. Blech. Everybody get out of the bathroom! Oh my gosh. Maybe they're out of my room, finally. Molly, are you home? Molly! Okay, a cookie fan, I told you, we have the stomach flu. Don't come in here. You don't even know what you're saying. Oh, uh, this don't feel good. Me either! Ew, Mom, you're throwing up in the bathtub! Ah, this is the worst day ever! Ha, ha, ha! Achoo! Molly, I think you should admit that you're also sick. What? No! This sick day routine was crazy! Don't worry, I'll take care of all of you. But Mom, you're sick too. That's just what moms do. We never have a day off. Oh, Mom, you're the best. Oh, thanks, Molly. Now, come on. Let's get you in bed. Um, I have to use the bathroom. Dad, get out of the bathroom! Okay, I guess I don't have to sleep in here. Dad, what are you what are you talking about? You, okay, whatever. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, f we feel all better tomorrow because this is insane. It's probably because my mom wanted to feed us chili for breakfast. No, I didn't. It was for a party. Uh huh. Sure, mom. Sure, sure it was. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> all right, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. No, no, I don't, I'm, I don't want to go to math class. I want to stay here in the cafeteria and eat all the cupcakes. Molly, Molly, you're having a silly dream. It's time to wake up. No. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to science class. I'm still eating cupcakes. Oh, Molly, you're so obsessed with cupcakes. <laughs> Come on, it's the first day of school. Huh, what? What are you talking about, Mom? It's the first day of school, Molly. Uh, why are you so happy about it? Um, well, you have been here all summer driving me kind of crazy. What? You mean you want me to leave? No, 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 no. That's not what I meant. I just meant school is really fun and I need a break. What? Did you just say something? No, no, no. Uh, school's going to be so perfect. You're going to love it. Ah, uh, come on. Get dressed. Brush your teeth. Come out for breakfast. Ah, uh, my mom is so cheery in the morning. Uh, I can't believe it's back to school already. Where did the summer go? Molly, <laughs> you know, summer just flew right on by. Ew, what's that smell? Um, the breakfast you're making? 
Ew, Molly, no, it's you! You're super stinky! You have to take a bath before you go to school. No, I was thinking I would just go like this. No, Molly. Yeah, but then none of the teachers will want to be around me, and they'll be like, oh, yeah, you can stay in the cafeteria and eat all the cupcakes. Seriously, Molly, is that what you think? Yeah, if they, if they don't want to smell me all day, then basically I just won't even have to go to class. Molly, I go take a shower. Okay, why isn't Daisy awake? Daisy's already doing her morning routine. You're the one that's so far behind. Huh, <sighs> I'm always f late for school. You're not going to be late today. Okay, we'll see about that. Oh, I'm so bored already. Well, at least I don't smell anymore. <laughs> Let's see what's on YouTube. Do, 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 do. Oh, the brightly colored unicorn! The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Molly, are you all showered and ready for school? Uh-huh, yeah, be right out. Ugh. Oh. Don't want to have to go back to school. I love summer vacation. It should last forever. Molly, breakfast is going to be ready soon. Uh-huh. What are you doing? Are you getting your books together? Um, yeah, sure. Molly, I just looked at your room. No, you're not. Are you on YouTube? Uh, no. No, I'm, I'm doing homework. Doing homework? School hasn't even started yet. You can't have homework before the first day of school. I feel like I could. I feel like I already have detention and it's not even school yet. Oh, Molly, how about you set a new record this year for actually not getting detention and doing your homework? <laughs> That's a good one, Mom. Come on, let's go have breakfast. Where is Daisy? Where is Daisy? I'm in here, Molly. I'm so excited about the first day of school. Daisy, you're the only person I know that sings about the first day of school. Not true, Molly. Everybody loves the first day of school except for you because you're being so lame. Uh-huh, sure, lame. I like school. I like um gym class. And I also like eating. <laughs> I hear you're having pizza for your first day at school. Whoa, they're trying to break it to us easy. What do you mean by that, Molly? I mean that basically they feel sorry for us. We have to go to school, so they're feeding us pizza. Oh, brother. Ew! Blueberry muffins. Mom, you know the way to my heart. Mm. I have to have about five more of these to be full, though. Save some for your sister, Molly. Oh, these are delicious, Mom. Molly. Okay, just one more. We could split them. She could have three. I could have three, right? Daisy, better hurry up. I'm going to eat all your, your muffins. They're delicious. Now, Molly, let's try to have a wonderful school year, okay? Um, what do you mean by wonderful? Eating all the pizza and, I mean, not getting detention, doing your homework, listening in class. Ugh, that sounds like a lot of work. Well, life is a lot of work, school is a lot of work, but you need to be successful in life. Okay, I'll try. That's all I want from you, Molly, is for you to try. Yeah, I'll try very hard, I promise. But right now, I have to steal this muffin. Molly, you said you'd split them with your sister! Oh, is she back in school yet? <laughs> um, yum, yum. I think my mom is a little bit tired of me these days. She wants me to go back to school really bad. <laughs> well, better brush my teeth. Nobody likes stinky breath on the first day of school. Brush, 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 brush. Molly, did you eat all the muffins? Um, no. What? No, I didn't. Yes, you did, you piggy! I'm not piggy. Piggy has a laser eye. You know what I mean, Molly. Ah, fresh and clean. Now, I think I'm going to wear my Star Squad shirt to school. And I probably should grab all of these papers because I don't want my sister reading my journal. Molly, what's it going to be good in your journal anyway? <laughs> Tons of good stuff! Not for any of you to read, though. Daisy, you look so cute for your first day of school. Um, do I get to wear something cute for my first day of school? I thought you wanted to wear your Star Squad shirt. Oh, yeah, this shirt is super cool. I forgot I was wearing it. Really, Molly? Do you even think about stuff? Yeah, I use my brain all the time to think about cupcakes. And, guys, if you want to get your own Star Squad shirt just like this one in real life, you can go to the link in the description box below this video. Our website is called starsquad.shop. 
Yeah, we have pillows and backpacks too in case you need one for school. Yeah, check it out if you guys want to. Okay, girls. Well, I just have to finish up these dishes and then we'll be headed out to your first day of school. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Wait a minute. Are we not taking the bus? I thought I would drive you girls if you want. Whoa, fancy. I'm going to go get in the car and wait. Okay, um, I'm going to take the bus to school. Okay, Molly. Have a great day. Thanks. Ugh, finally, they're gone. Now I can watch Brightly Colored Unicorn and relax in the hot tub. Ah, perfect first day of school. Molly, what are you doing? I'm um, taking the bus to school. The bus just drove by the house and you aren't on it. Tell me you weren't just trying to skip school. Ah, uh, yeah. Molly, it's your first day. Ugh, you can't just make a good impression at least on your first day of school. Ah, uh, this looks like a great impression to me. Hot tub and brightly colored unicorn. What do I need to go to school for? To learn, Molly. You need to learn lots of things so you're ready to be a grown-up. Oh, wow. That sounds kind of important. Yeah. Your success in school can determine a lot. Really? Like how many cupcakes that I can eat? No, Molly. Like learning how to do math. Learning how to read. Well, I know how to read. Well, okay. Reading really... Is like, you know, you can read a few things and then you can read more things and then you can read a lot of things. Like, what do you mean? Like, first you just read um, kids books and then you read um, chapter books and then you read teenager books and then you could read anything. Yeah, I do like to read. Now, come on, get in the car. We need to get going. Uh, I'm going to walk. Molly, get in the car, please. We don't want you to be late. Okay, I'm going to drive. Molly, I think that's a really bad idea. No, no. Mama lets me drive all the time. Molly, I don't know. This does seem like a bad idea. Nah, I'm a great driver. Yeah, wait, Molly. Why did we get into the cub? What are you doing? Ah, the car is stuck. We can't go to school. Molly, I think you're doing this on purpose. Molly, drive the car like normal. I'm trying. Okay, wait. I just figured out how to turn the wheel. Wait, wait. Wait a minute. Why is it so dark out? Because I wanted to get to school super early today. Daisy, seriously? Uh, yeah, Daisy. It is kind of early still. Why did you guys wake me up before the sun was even awake? Why are you stuck on the curb again? Okay, I'm going home to go back to bed. Molly, why are you running inside the car? I don't know. This car is broken. Goodbye, everybody. Molly, you have to come to school. Um, hello, everybody. It is... Still, uh, way before school. Yeah, Daisy, she is right. <laughs> we got a little excited. It's not even time for school yet. Hey, what are you? You're not going to give me a ride back to the house? Ay, ay, ay. Well, it looks like you girls can take a nap before your first day. I wanted to sit in here and wait. I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh, Daisy. You're so weird. I am not, Molly. I just love school. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, school's okay, but I'm not going to go in there at like 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Mom, how much longer do we have to stay in here? <sighs> Until the infection clears, Molly. No, this is getting so boring. I have cabin fever. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Molly, chill out. Go read a book or like just relax or something. I can't. I need fresh air. I think it's probably going to be okay. I mean, according to this, um, the infection rate has gone down. I don't know. This seems kind of like a bad idea. Nonsense, Mom. This is going to be a great idea. Let's go out. We could go to the mall. Ooh, the mall. I haven't been to the mall since the zombie plague started. I don't think zombies are so bad anyway. Um, hello, zombies bite you, and then you're a zombie, or they try to eat your brain. They sound pretty bad to me. I definitely don't want to be having that infection. I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. Who is this guy? I think he goes to our uh, high school. I can't be in here anymore. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah, you want that to happen, Mom? That's, what's, uh, that's what I'm going to be like next. Totally crazy. Okay, fine. We'll go get some fresh air, but I don't think we should go to the mall just yet. What if the zombies are still out there and they can infect us with the plague? Um, well, let's just go get some fresh air and see how it goes. And a pizza. And some cupcakes. 
and some donuts. Ooh, Dunkin' Donuts. Love it. Wow, this place is kind of crazy. Like, it really snowed since the last time we were outside. <laughs> it was the summer the last time I went out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't see anybody with the plague. I don't know what my mom's talking about. She was being so worried about everything. Holy guacamole. How do I get anywhere around here? Well, I should have gone up under that tree. That way, if somebody who was infected tried to come... I wouldn't get infected because I'd be up in a tree. Yes, it's a good spot, kind of. I really need to get up even higher, like... Maybe, like, oh, I don't know, up in one of those trees. How would I get up there, though? Let's see if I go up here. And then I go up here. Oh, I feel like I'm climbing this snowy mountain. Where have my family gone? Huh. I can't seem to get up there. Ah! It fell! I don't have any snow boots. And it's also kind of cold. Holy guacamole, you gotta be really strong to get up these hills. <laughs> okay, I did it! Yes! <sighs> Nobody's coming up here, I can tell you that much. Mom? Dad? Daisy? Where is everybody? Oh my god, they got infected by the plague! No! Just kidding, I have no idea. <gasps> There's somebody down there with the zombieism! There's another one! Oh my god, Dad? Dad? Brains. Okay, coming outside was probably a terrible idea. Brains. Dad? Oh my gosh, guys! Slam the like button if you think I can survive this zombie apocalypse. This plague looks really bad, guys. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know. I'm up here on top of a tree. I'm hoping that I'm safe up here. I don't see Mom or Daisy anywhere. Like guacamole. That person has a plague, too. I'm just going to hide back here. I'm going to hide on this tree where nobody can see me. Holy cow. Okay, I'm going to go check in with Mom and Daisy. God, there's Dad! He's drooling on himself! Daisy? Oh my God, there's Daisy! She's still alive! Okay, that's good. Where's Mom? Oh, God. Mom is definitely a zombie. Definitely. She doesn't look so good. She's just kind of hanging out there. Sometimes when you get zombieism, you're just like, ugh! You stand in one spot. Someone's after me! It's a zombie! Uh, this is bad. This is really bad. There's somebody else that has zombieism. They're hiding on me! Ah! Holy cow! No! No, no! Oh my god, I got bit! I got bit! Oh my god, no! No! All of them are ganging up on me! Ah! 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 Brains must have brains. Ah, subscribers, you must slam the like button or I'll drool on you. Let's go get some people and turn them into zombies. Oh, where'd I just fall? Ugh. Oh, I'm kind of dumb now that I'm a zombie. What? What 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 just happened? Molly, we gave you a shot of the antidote! Huh? What? Oh my god, that was crazy! The only problem is, Molly, we'll only not zombies for about ten minutes. What? The antidote isn't really an antidote? It only works for ten minutes? Whoa, Pac-Man! This is so cool! Dad, I think we have bigger things to worry about. Oh, I don't care if I'm a zombie. I mean, I can still play Pac-Man, right? No, you'll be obsessed with getting brains. Ooh, Pac-Man brains. Dad. Okay, I'm going to pick something else. Let's do sea base. Yeah, Marty, we have to go out and find more. Uh, if we go outside and this time we don't turn into a zombie, then we'll be killed. What? How does that work? Because the antidote only works forever if you get fresh air. 
Oh, that sounds ridiculous. What scientist came up with that? Well, it was not their fault. It's the only way that you could beat zombieism. You only get 10 minutes on the inside. Or if you get fresh air, it automatically activates the antidote and you can survive forever. Oh, gosh. Well, I got fresh air now. Am I not a zombie forever? Correct, Molly. However, that does not mean that you can't become a zombie again. Well, that's silly. I mean, why, why didn't it work forever? Well, because there's going to be more zombies and they might try to bite you. Oh, boy. This sounds bad. Very, very bad. Oh, wait. I found this magical vent. Where does it go? Don't ask me. But if I stay down here, maybe nobody will find me. I wouldn't count on that, Molly. Oh, man. She's got purple zombieism. Mom, run. She's after you. Um, I noticed that, Molly. Yeah. Figured you would. Uh-oh, someone's coming my way, and they're a zombie. Maybe if I just go over here, they won't see me. Maybe if I stand in this corner, they'll be like, huh? Nope, nobody there. There's nobody in here. Nope, nobody in here. Okay, I'm going back into spectate mode, maybe. Oh, she left me alone. Cool, maybe nobody will come in here. Okay, there's somebody else that's also a purple zombie. Zombie. Is everyone else dead? Because I can't go through them. Okay, I don't know where the rest of my family is. Oh, boy. Here comes somebody. I just have to stay alive for a little bit longer. She's, like, up in the bedroom taking a nap. Lazy zombie. He's sitting on the- OH MY GOD THERE'S A ZOMBIE! Ah, 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 NO! Ah, ah, oh, uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! I feel kind of funny! Oh! Brains! Oh brother! Not again Molly! Brains! Where is everybody? I want to get your brains! How do I even get out of here? My brain's not very big. And here's the thing, whenever you turn into a zombie, you're like purple and you can't see anything. Okay, I'm sneaking up behind this guy. Now you're dead. See what just happened? I'm getting you. Oh, he's trying to hit me with a flashlight. It's not gonna work, buddy! Ah, uh, brains! Daisy, not you too! I mean, yeah, we're both happy that we're zombies, right? I'm actually kind of sad. Dad? Brains! Okay, well, now I'm kind of happy because we're all zombies. Where's mom? Mom? Are you a zombie? Mom? Brains and Pac-Man. I think mom is still not a zombie. Let's go find her. Where is mom? I don't want to be a zombie. I really don't want to be a zombie. Please don't make me a zombie. You're going to be a zombie, mom, as soon as I find you. Where is she? Brains and cupcakes. Excuse me, rude zombie. No, no, no. Oh my god, I hope they don't find me. Mom, don't you want to be a zombie like us? Your entire family is a zombie and you don't want to be a zombie? Really? Mom, are you in one of these boxes? Mom. Mom, get back here. I'm going to get you. We're going to get you, Mom. You're going to be a zombie. I'm sorry. Honey, is that you? Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. No, I'm going to be a zombie. Oh, I'm a zombie. Now we're a zombie family. We live happily ever after. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And slam that like button. Uh, or I'll drool on you. We'll all drool on you. Uh. Okay, guys, see you next time. Bye. Good morning, girls. I'm just about to make breakfast. Oh, boy, Mom, can we have pancakes? Sorry, Molly, I don't have the ingredients for pancakes this week. 
But mom, I really want pancakes. Come on, it's summer vacation. Yeah, that sounds really good, mom, please. I'm sorry, girls. Uh, there, There's no pancake mix, and I don't have money for that this week, okay? Fine. Dizzy, why are you just staring at the empty TV screen with nothing on it? Well, I'm imagining that we had cable. What do you mean? We, we don't? No, girls, I'm sorry. Your dad and I are trying to save money, so um, we decided to take the cable out. There's still the news station, though. The news station? Who wants to watch that garbage, Mom? Oh, that's so boring. Wait a minute. Is that a leftover piece of pizza? Mine! I claim it! Mm, so good, Mom. You make the best homemade pizza ever. Molly, that's weird to eat that for breakfast. I think it's delicious. Mmm. So, Daisy, would you like some oatmeal for breakfast? No, I'm not really even hungry. <sighs> I wish we could go with everyone else somewhere today. What do you mean? Where is everyone going? Oh, everyone in our school and their families are going to the water park in Brookhaven. Wow, that sounds like so much fun. Uh, how much does it cost? Uh, it's like $50 a person. Per person? Per family? That's right, Mom. So it would be about $200 for us to go. $200? What's the school crazy? We can't afford that. Oh, Mom. Come on. Can't we go, please? You must have a little bit in your, um, in your wallet or something, right? I only have like $3, and I have to use that for gas money to get to, to my job, girls. Like, I don't have $200 to take you to the water park. Well, this is the most terrible summer ever. It's just... I hate being poor! I hate it! <laughs> Ugh, I feel like a horrible mom. I wish I could afford to take you girls to the water park. Molly, come here, please! What? I'm pouting in my room. What do you want? No, I'm going to pout in the bathroom. Molly, come out here, please. What? You made Mom feel really sad. I'm really sorry, girls, that I can't give you more things. Like, you know, expensive tickets to water parks and, and beautiful clothes. But I love you more than anything. And I always make sure you have a roof over your head. Even if it leaks a little. And, and, and I have food in your belly. Even though it's not always exactly what you want. I always make sure that you know that I love you so much. And I hope someday you'll know that that's enough. I didn't want to tell you girls this. I wanted it to be a surprise. But since you're so sad about the water park, I guess I'll tell you now. We're going to Disney? Whoa, Mom, this is amazing! Molly, she didn't say we were going to Disney. Ay, ay, ay. No, your dad and I managed to save up to take you girls to the ice cream shop. Wait, what? That's all we're doing all summer? Ugh, I knew you wouldn't be very impressed. It's all we can afford, girls. We're only getting ice cream one time this summer. Ugh, oh, working three jobs is just killing me. Ugh, oh, I've been working on cutting down all these trees to make lumber all day. And it's exhausting. Well, I guess now's the perfect time to get that ice cream, Dad, since you look really hot. I am. It's 100 degrees outside. Wait, you told the girls about our surprise trip? Well, I had to. They wanted to go to the water park, and we can't afford to send them, even though they're the only ones at school that aren't going to be able to go. Oh, we failed as parents. No, you didn't. We're happy that we get to eat ice cream, right, Daisy? Yeah, I'm going to get my favorite. But only one scoop. It's all we can afford. Okay, well, let's get going, guys. Come on, girls. Get in. Dad, are you sure you don't just want to walk? I mean, your car has a habit of actually not getting us anywhere, ever. It's always breaking down. Yeah, and it smells like a rotten egg fart. <laughs> oh, it doesn't smell that bad. Yes, it does, Dad. It literally smells like a giant fart. What's wrong with your car? Ah, uh, the girls do have a point, honey. It does smell pretty bad. Well, hopefully it just gets us there. That's all I care about. Uh, Dad? I smell something really funny. Oh, sorry. That was me. <laughs> Leftover pizza. Does it to me every time. Ah, uh, maybe it wasn't your car that smelled like a rotten egg fart. Maybe it was Molly this whole time. Ew, Molly. What? What? We have money to go through the car wash? No. It's free car wash day. 
We need to take care of that smell. But Dad, we're- Ah, we're getting soaked! Dad! Well, you're the one that I think is making it smell like a rotten egg fart, so Molly, you need a bath. We could all use a bath. The water's not running at the house real well these days. Ah! <laughs> I got soap in my hair! I think that's kind of the point, Dad. <laughs> not only does the car get washed, we do too! Free baths for everyone! Now that we're all clean and smell good, we can go into the ice cream shop. I can't believe it! The car actually made it this time. <laughs> Let's see, what kind of flavors do I want? Remember, Molly, just one scoop. It's all we can afford. Oh, well, I'm definitely getting my favorite mint chocolate chip. Mm, that's so good. So good. Mm. Whoa, who's that? They're pulling up in a limo, Daisy. Whoa, they look so rich. I bet they're the rip richest people in all of Brookhaven. Ooh, I'm going to get a scoop of everything. Then I'm going to go to the Louis Vuitton store and buy five new purses. Oh, honey. <laughs> Slow down with all this spending of our money. Just kidding. We're billionaires. You can have anything you want. Whatever makes your heart happy. Oh, dear. You're so sweet. Wow. I wonder what it's like to be that rich. Yeah, Molly. Me too. I can see it now. This is going to be the perfect spot for my new mansion. Let's see, which mansion do I want? I am so rich, I can have anyone I every, anyone I want, really. Um, it just depends on the, the one I think is the cutest. OMG, this one's really cool. This is the one I'm going to have in Brookhaven, but I'm also going to have one in Hawaii. And I'm going to have one in Malibu, so this is just my Brookhaven one. Wow. Look at my new house. It's amazing. I'm so rich that I had an architect build this house completely off center. Look at it. <laughs> it's like I'm falling down no matter where I am in the house. This house cost me $4 million. It was worth every, every penny. Sometimes I just lay money down as my pillow and I, I sleep on it because that's how rich I am. Like I can make money into pillows. Sometimes I even take a bath in money. I'm so rich. I'm so rich. Stacks of cash. Stacks of cash. I got me stacks of cash. I think I'm going to go buy a fancy sports car like right now. What kind of sports car would I want? I could buy a school bus. Yeah, I'm going to buy a school bus and a sports car because that's kind of funny. Ooh, look at this. I really like this. Okay, I'm buying that. It's like not letting me. Okay, fine. I'll try this sports car then. This one's better than that pink one anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at my new car. Oh, I'm so rich. It's just like the best thing in the world. Ah, time to go to the beach. Ah, as soon as I learn how to drive. Whoa, I totally ran into my new house. Oh, well, I'll just buy a new garage if I ruin this one. Ah, why won't the wheel turn? Obviously, I need to hire our driver. I can do that. I'm rich, you know. I'll also hire a chef, and I'll hire, I'll hire everything. I'll hire a housekeeper. And when you're rich, you can do whatever you want. You can sit on the beach all day, just counting your money and feeling the sunshine on your face. <sighs> and guess what? You never have to go to school ever again. Whoa, 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 Molly. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? The rich have the best life ever. They still have to go to school, Molly, whether you're rich or not. Nope. Mm. If I had all the money in the world, no more school for me. Molly, it's against the law to not go to school. You have to go to school. Okay, but the teachers would work for me. That means no more detention. Yeah, if you say so, Molly. Molly, would you really want to be rich? Well, yeah, wouldn't be ri being rich be awesome? Yeah, but you'd have different parents and a different sister and everything. Mm, yeah, I guess that's true. So, would you still want to be rich? Well, I sure would miss my mom and my dad. Hey, where's mom? Sorry, I had to go put another quarter in the parking meter. Oh, it was the last quarter I had to. 
Well, maybe I can find another one under the couch cushion. <laughs> maybe we could save up and bring the girls back to the ice cream shop one other time this summer. That would be so nice. As much as being rich would be amazing. I sure would miss my mom and dad and sister. Really, Molly? You, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to be rich? Nah, not if I couldn't be rich with you guys. And you guys, well, are poor. So I'm going to stay being a family with you guys. Oh, Molly, that's amazing. And when I grow up, I'm going to do something awesome, like be a doctor, or a rocket scientist or something. And I'm going to make sure that I buy us all a really nice house. Oh, Molly, you don't have to do that. But you're such a sweetheart for saying it. Yeah, no money can buy an amazing family. And mine sure does love me a whole lot. Mom, Dad, Daisy, over here! Oh my gosh, this place is amazing! Holy guacamole! Look at the ocean. It's so clear and like blue colored. Oh, I, ah, I can't wait to get in! Too late, I already did. <laughs> OMG! Roblox family, I can't believe it. After all those months in quarantine, our first beach vacation! I know, Miley, I've been waiting to roast a s'mores all spring. Well, girls, I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Now, where did your father go? Uh, he's already lost on the island. I'm probably gonna have to go find them. Whoa, holy guacamole, get out of the fire. What are you, crazy? Yeah, you're gonna catch yourself on fire. No, I'm just freezing because I got in the ocean and it's still too early and I'm, I'm ugh, it's so cold. Oh, okay, well, if you say so. Daisy, where did you get that cheeseburger? I brought it from home. Really, Daisy? Really, I was hungry. Oh, look at this s'mores. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Mmm. I'm going to go back in the water because there's a nice fire. And if I get too cold, it won't matter because I'll just... Oh, my God. What's that? Oh, it's somebody else swimming. <laughs> I thought it was a shark. That freaked me out for a minute. Na, 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 Whoa. So far, I don't see any fish in the ocean. What, are they all sleeping or something? You don't ever have to come up for air either. Just kidding. Of course I have to come up for air. Molly, there's a sea monster in there. What? What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was funny. Hey, Dad, there you finally are. Sorry, I got a little turned around. I went to the bathroom and I couldn't find my way back. Dad, what are you doing? You look like you're dead. I'm scuba diving. Well, I'm not scuba diving. I'm just snorkeling. But look at these cool fish. Okay, let me see. Dad! <laughs> what are you doing? I can't talk right now. I'm underwater and it just sounds like... <laughs> Dad. Okay, girls. Um, Why don't you go ahead and get warmed up by the fire and then we're going to go find our cabin or tent or somewhere to sleep. Wait a minute. You didn't figure it out beforehand? Like you didn't make a reservation or anything? Nah, we thought it'd be fun to just rough it and see how it goes. Um... Yeah, I don't know if that's such a great idea. Oh, Daisy, where's your sense of adventure? Come on. We can do it. This is no problem at all. Campsite, this way. Do, 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 do. Wow, this is a long walk. I hope there's a cupcake when I get there. Wow, a lake too? Holy guacamole, this place is amazing. Okay, to the beach. <gasps> Look at that beautiful waterfall. Oh my gosh. Really, this place couldn't be more cool. Molly, I'm right behind you. And also, I just saw fireworks. What? Yeah, they have fireworks here too. Oh, my life is so happy right now. Theater. Where's the campsite? Molly, this place is so huge. I can't even find where I'm going. I just can't believe that waterfall. It's so beautiful. Um, theater, beach, campsite. This way, Daisy. Bum, 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 da, dun, dun, da, da, da. What about mom and dad? They'll find their way. Don't worry. 
tent camping and a campsite. Well, wait a minute. What's the difference? I guess it's just where everybody goes to hang out. I want to see if there's an actual, like... Okay, wait. Campsite. Molly, you're lost. Follow me. I don't want to follow you. How do you know? You've never been here before. Wait, I see a tent. I see lots of tents, Daisy. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, that tent is already taken. How about this one? Ah, look at this. A big comfy bed. This is nice. This is our tent, Miley. We claimed it. <laughs> Daisy, you're pretending to sleep. You're not even asleep right now. Hey, Daisy, I read um, online that there's this really cool cave here. I don't know, Miley. This sounds kind of creepy. No, no, no. Hey, what? that guy just zipped us in here. Hey, I want to get out. Hey, what are you doing? Sorry about that. <laughs> I just thought this was my tent. No, it's me and my sisters and my parents. Okay, sorry. Daisy, come on. Let's go see if we can find that cave. Molly, I don't think this is such a good idea. It's a great idea, Daisy. Come on. My sister's such a chicken. She doesn't like to have any adventures at all. Oh, I hope there's no snakes in this tall grass. That will make me scream. Ooh, look at that waterfall. Daisy, are you coming or not? Don't be so grouchy, Molly. This is supposed to be our vacation. No grouch is allowed. Okay, now I've got to remember how to get to the cave. Um, I think when I was looking at the map online, it said we had to go this way. Are you sure? No, but I think so. Ba 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 da ba 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 -de -do. Molly, it's starting to get dark. I don't like this idea. What are you afraid of a bear or something? Uh yeah. Daisy, I think I found the entrance. Come on. Molly, this is such a bad idea. Oh man, it's starting to rain. There's no turning back now. Molly, this isn't the entrance. Okay, well, I'm sure there's an entrance somewhere. We gotta go back to the tent, Molly. It's really raining hard. No, I've got to find this cave. Now, come on. It's got to be around here somewhere. Okay, where are you? It's probably up somewhere near this waterfall. Uh, 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 I can't get up there. Ah, it's too slippery. <laughs> I can't go up that way. This way, Molly. Woo! <laughs> Holy guacamole, you can swim into the waterfall. Okay, that's cool. Great, now I'm soaking wet. Daisy, you were soaking wet before. It's pouring out. I know, you and your silly ideas. I could be just snuggled into my sleeping bag right now. I'm sure that it's around here somewhere. Okay, where are you? Okay, where are you? Daisy, do you have any idea where it is? What? No, but I'm not the one who read about this cave. Okay, well, let's go back this way. Molly, you I don't even think there is a cave. You're just um, lying right now and pranking me. No, I'm not, Daisy. I'm not. There's a cave. Just gotta find it. Finally, the cave! Molly, I'm not so sure about this. It's kind of creepy in there. Nah, nah, nah. Everything's gonna be just fine. Now, which way should we go? Click, 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 click. Ha! Ah, what was that? Sorry, Molly. I was just trying to... Trying to... Hey! It, somebody else is in here! Hey, what's up? Not supposed to be in the cave right now. Yeah, I know. We're going to find a cool secret. What's the cool secret? I don't know. It didn't say online. It just said, go into the cave to find a cool secret. And I'm like, okay. Daisy, are you behind me? Yeah, and so aren't these other guys. Whoa. What's that? Daisy! Daisy! Ah! Molly! Ah! Ah! Molly! Oh my gosh, what's that? Um, I think that might be the secret that they were talking about. Jason! Molly! Why is Jason living in this cave? I don't know. Things are crazy around here, I guess. Wow, not quite the beach vacation I was looking for. Don't go in there. The surprise isn't nice. I think he's gone. We should go back and see if there's another secret. 
Molly, are you crazy? I'm going to find mom and dad. Oh, it's Jason! N no, that I think we were just dreaming that. Molly, don't go back there. You're going to be sorry. Nah, everything will be fine. Molly, look who that is. That looks a lot like we're Jason. <laughs> Jason, are you stuck down there? Molly. I'm going to put a marshmallow on his head. You need a marshmallow. That's why you're so grumpy. You're hangry. <laughs> hangry. Hey, maybe we could be friends and you could stop being a psycho. No chance of that. Come on, let's go find mom and dad. Why, Molly? So we can tell him we found Jason in the cave. Really? No! Are you crazy? Can't tell anybody because then they'll want to see for themselves and then Jason will be like, ha 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 ha! And that'll be the end. Molly, I don't know why you brought me into this cave. I don't know either, but at least it's starting to get light outside now. Mom! Dad! Where are you? Daisy, are you behind me? Yes, Molly, I'm right behind you. Oh, boy. That was crazy. Tell me about it. Wow. People are partying hard around here. Fan of the Stair Squad. I think you mean Star. Do you mean Star Squad? Do you mean us? Um, hi. Hi. I don't know if you mean fan of the Star Squad or not, but um, I just want to say shout out to um, opposite... Duke 33. I think you're amazing. Yeah, me too. I think he really is a fan. I think he I think he probably fan of um Star Squad was taken. So he used fan of Stair Squad. At first I was just thought thought he was like being funny or something. Oh my gosh, he is a fan! Okay, I'm sorry. I thought maybe you met like you like someone else, like the Stair Squad. And I was like, wait a minute, is there a Stair Squad? And then I realized, oh, you mean Star Squad. Oh, don't pay any attention to my sister. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> hey, I'm glad that we're all on this vacation together. Us and our fans and everything. All right now, we got to go find my parents, though, because... Oh, and don't go in the cave. Jason's in there. Yeah, don't say we didn't want you. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Molly, you don't think that Jason got our parents, do you? What would they be doing in the cave? No way. Wait, I think that's Dad right there. And there's Mom. What are you guys doing? I heard there's going to be a great movie here uh, later on. Why are you standing here? I want to get a good seat. Me too. I got the best seat in the house. Uh, Mom, Um, if you see a cave here, don't go in it. Why would I go in a cave? Bears live in there. Don't you guys go in caves either? No, no, never. Mom, Molly went in the cave and Jason lives in there. What? Uh, she didn't mean that. Ha 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 ha, super funny. No, Jason actually lives in there. Girls? Oh, oh my gosh, are you guys okay? Yeah, but we should probably call the police because you know Jason. Well, I want this thing work. I want to watch the movie. Okay, well, we'll go right now and call the police. I think he just wants a friend. Mom, are you okay? Yeah, I just got stung by a bee in my leg, so my leg's not quite working right. Ah! This vacation has turned out to be a total craziness right now. I don't know. I'm having fun. <laughs> if I could get this movie to work. Dad, you're obsessed with the movie. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching our Roblox vacation. Things didn't quite go the way I thought it would. I thought it'd be treasure in the cave, but no. Mm, I'm having a pretty good time. Look at this cheeseburger. Dad! Daisy, wake up! Wake up! What? What is it, Molly? I just can't sleep. Well, you need to go to sleep with babies. We need more rest. I know, but... <sighs> Daisy, are you sleeping again? Wake up! I, I want to go to sleep. I'm really tired. I'm tired too, but I have something on my mind. What is it? I feel like we're never going to get adopted. Don't say that, Molly. We're going to get adopted. I just know it. Then why are we still here? We're here at the adoption center, and, and everyone just comes in and looks at us and goes, Oh, look at those cute little twins. But then they never actually adopt us. Well, Molly, we just have to be patient. I'm tired of being patient. <laughs> oh, Molly, don't cry. It's 
it's gonna be okay. It's never gonna be okay. We're never gonna have a mom and dad. Oh, Molly, just try to get some sleep, okay? Uh, okay. I could have tried to get some sleep too if you quit hogging the crib. Jeepers. Maybe I could find a spot way down here. Shh. Molly, stop snowing! You're keeping me awake! Huh? Huh? What? What? What's going on? Oh, brother, it's gonna be a long night with you, I can tell already. Oh, wow! Look at these twins! Daisy, don't look now, but there's a mom in here. Well, maybe a mom to be. Oh, aren't you guys the cutest? Dan, over here! Come here! Oh, man! Twins! Are you sure we could handle that? That's that's a lot of baby. And a lot of dirty diapers. Oh, Dan. We've been taking those parenting classes, and, and we've been practicing. We, we can do this. But twice the bottles, twice the diapers. Okay, Daisy. It's time to look super cute. Are you ready? Okay, Molly. I did not know why I did not know why I did not know why. Oh, look. They're talking to you, Dan. Oh, what's your name? I did not know why I did Daisy. And what's your name? Molly! Molly, can you adopt us? Can you adopt us? Oh, way to be chill, Molly. Way to be chill. Aw, you guys are so adorable. Dan, I think we should adopt them. Me too. Let's do it. O-M-G. I can't believe this. We're about to get adopted. I know, Molly. This is amazing. <laughs> See you later, Anna. We're never coming back here. What? I'll miss you, Molly. I'll miss you, Daisy. Yeah, we'll miss you too. Except for the fact that we're getting adopted. Ugh, finally, I'm out of this place. Oh my gosh, I've been invited to a family. Holy guacamole. Come on, everybody, let's go outside! Ugh, I can't believe it. I actually have a mom and a dad. This is the best day ever! Where should we go first? Ow! You just ran me over! Be ow! You're running me over again! Ow! Ow! Mom! <laughs> Little kids are so annoying. Why are you in the road? Hey, watch out. That's my daughter. I will tell your daughter to stay out of the road. Maybe you should look next time. I mean, there's babies in this road. Whoa. He was being really good about defending you, Molly. Thanks, Dad. You're the best ever. Okay, I'm going to um, like get a piggyback ride from Dad. Come on, everybody. Let's go to the playground. Lead away, Dad! Lead away! I think I could ride on Mom's shoulders. Finally, we have a family. I know. I'm so happy. Twin girls, can you believe it? Um, not really. Um, Dad, don't fall off the bridge. <laughs> don't you worry about a thing. Oh, there's the park! Our first family outing. Oh, this is so nice. Hey, look at this. It's like a giant beach ball. Uh-huh. See you, Dad. You girls be careful. This is I'm bored. I have to be less bored. Wow! Wee! Wee! <laughs> Daisy, what's wrong? I don't know, Molly, but I feel like maybe this isn't for real. What do you mean it's not for real? What's not for real? The park? No, having a mom and a dad. What are you talking about? I mean... Hey, wait. Stop spinning around. I can't. <laughs> I'm having a little bit too much fun. Okay, so are you sad or are you having fun? No, I'm definitely sad. Okay, well, make up your mind, Daisy. Here, I'm going to spin us around. That will make you feel better. Or it'll make me throw up one or the other. So what were you saying anyway, Daisy? I was saying I don't feel like this family is for real. What are you talking about? We have a mom and a dad. I don't know. Maybe I just, I just didn't have a mom and a dad for so long that I don't believe it could be true. Oh my gosh. Oh, do you feel that way too, Molly? Right now, I feel like I'm going to barf because you span us, spun us around on that thing so much. <laughs> no, but really, Molly. Hey, have you guys been adopted yet? Um, yeah, we just got adopted. Are you a dark fairy? Sometimes I am. Are you sure that, well, you were really adopted? Wait a minute. What? Are you a dark fairy? Daisy, I think there's a dark fairy in the park. What? She's saying that she doesn't think we've really been adopted. Like, it's a prank. 
Are you kidding? Do you think we should believe her? I don't know. You were saying that you didn't think that this was real either. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we should trust a dog fairy. You should definitely trust me. You're not even adopted. Oh my gosh, Daisy. Come on. What are we doing, Molly? We're not going back to the adoption center. We're just gonna, we're gonna run away. Molly, that's a bad idea. No, it's not, Daisy. Come on. Molly, wait. I'm not going back to the adoption center and waiting for somebody else to adopt me. I'm not doing it. Daisy, are you coming or not? I'm coming, Molly. I'm just, I don't know. I have really short legs, so it's hard for me to run that fast. Molly, I don't want to go into the forest. It might be scary. It's not going to be scary. And besides, we're on our own. We have to figure things out on our own. But Molly, but, but, but it was safe at the adoption center. Yeah, and we had to wait forever to go live our lives and, and find a family. And I'm just sick of waiting. It's just you and me forever. Okay, Molly, but I don't know about this. Trust me, I'm the older one. Yeah, by one minute, Molly. Molly, where are you going? I'm trying to find a place for us to camp for the night. Wow, it's starting to get dark and I'm scared. Don't be scared, Daisy. We can do this. Come on, Daisy. I set up this little tent for us. Whoa, Molly, this is actually pretty nice. Well, I'm glad you like it because we live here now. In a tent forever? What happens when it's winter and it snows? I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. I'm just a little kid, okay? Okay, Molly, well, good night. Good night, Daisy. <sighs> at least we're not back in the really warm, comfortable bed at the adoption center. Yeah, exactly, Molly. Jeez. <coughs> Molly? Daisy? Molly? Daisy? Huh? What, what, what was that? Molly, I think it's Mom and Dad calling for us. What mom and dad? We don't have a mom and dad. Yes, Molly, they adopted us, and it sounds like they're calling for us. I'm going out there. Daisy, wait! We don't even... Remember what the bad fairy said? Dad, is that you? Daisy! Oh, my gosh, we were so worried about you. Where's Molly? Um, she's in the tent. No, I'm not. I'm hiding. They're not my family. I know what the dark fairy said. Molly, come out here right now. Mom's got ice cream. What? Did she say ice cream? Seriously? Molly, I've got ice cream for you guys. Really? Mom? That's right. What made you girls run away? Well, it was sort of my fault. Yeah, it was all Daisy's fault. Molly! Okay, it was both of our faults. We just, we waited to be adopted for so long. We, we thought maybe it wasn't true. Oh, thanks for the ice cream. Mom, thank you for the ice cream. That's really nice. Girls... Of course we really adopted you. Well, then we ran into a dark fairy in the in the park, and she told us it was all a lie. You should never listen to dark fairies. They are completely dishonest. That's right, girls. Dark fairies are completely dishonest. Here, have a pizza. Whoa, you give us a lot of food to eat. That's really nice of you guys. Well, we are your parents. We have to make sure you're fed and that you have nice clothes and you have a roof over your head and you know how much we love you. Wow, you guys really are amazing. Yeah, you guys are totally amazing. So you finally believe that we're your parents? Yeah, of course. Mom and Dad, thank you so much for adopting us. You are the best parents in the world. Aw, we think you are the best girls in the world. Now, no more running away, okay? You got it. No more running away. Okay, come on. Let's go home. You guys have your own room. You can paint it any color you want. Wow, this is amazing. Thanks, school bus driver. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Lily. Bye, Bookie Cookie. Bye. Bye, everybody. Yeah, we're going to see our friends tomorrow at school. It's going to be awesome, Daisy. I told Molly I, I'm so excited about it. Mom, we're home. Mom, we're home. Oh, Dad, you're home from work early. Yup, girls. I took the afternoon off. Sometimes you just need some downtime. Tell me about it. Wish I could have a day off from school once in a while. Oh, girls, you have half days all the time. Teachers in service and holidays. Yeah, well... 
It never feels like it's enough. Oh, Molly. I think you should try to be more excited about school. I'm excited. Wee, wee, wee. Don't mind Molly. She had a nice cream at lunch. And the sugar's making her crazy. Whatever, Daisy. You had an ice cream, too. Yeah, Molly, but I also had a salad. They counterbalance. That's called balance. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, Daisy. Whatever. You had two scoops of ice cream. I did not, Molly. I had one and a half. Uh-huh. You had three, Molly. Oh, my gosh. It was so delicious today. It was so good. Mom, guess what? Dad, guess what? What? What is it, Daisy? I got an egg on my spelling test. Hooray! That's great, Daisy. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you, too, Daisy. Molly, what did you get on your test? Uh, test? Uh, what test? Molly. Um, I, I did okay. Yep, but I did all right. Molly, are you telling the truth right now? Yeah, I'm telling the truth. Uh, Mom, can I have a snack? I've got to go. You've got to go where? I have to play with my friends at the park. First, I want to talk to you about the spelling test, Molly. She doesn't want to tell you, but she got a bad grade. Daisy, what? why did you tattletale on me? Molly, it's the truth. It's not tattletaling if it's the truth. Yes, it is. That's none of your business what I got on my spelling test. Well, Molly, when it comes to telling Mom and Dad the truth, that's what I'm going to do always. Is this true, Molly? Did you fail your spelling test? Um, well, um, uh, Molly, did you fail or not? Uh, well, I didn't know I had a test. It's not my fault. I, I didn't know I had to study. Molly, don't you remember last night before school? No. What happened? I remember it quite well. Oh my gosh, I love this game. Look at us, we're all flying in an airplane to vacation. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm having so much fun. Molly, Molly. Uh, I can't talk right now, Mom. I'm playing Blacksborn. Molly, it's almost time for bed. Have you done your homework? Um, uh, well, uh. Molly, you have a spelling test tomorrow. Your teacher sent home a paper about it. I need you to study for that, please. And then you have to get ready for bed. Okay, Mom, I will. I promise. Okay, Molly. Well, I'm trusting you to do the right thing. You want to get a good grade on your test, right? Yeah, Mom. Absolutely. Um, I'll, I'll start on it in just one minute. Okay, Molly. I hope you do. Whoa, this game is so fun. <laughs> Wee! Oh, no, I died. Oh, man. That's okay. I can always play again. And again, and again, and again, and again. <laughs> ah, this is so cool. So, don't you remember me saying that to you last night, Molly? Uh, well, sort of. Molly, you promised me that you would do your spelling um, studying, and you didn't. Well, I, I was playing Bloxborn. I, oh. Molly, I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to ground you. Ground me? What? No! Dad, don't let her do this. It's not fair. Sorry, Molly, but I agree with your mom. You're grounded. No! We're staying off of! <laughs> oh, Molly, I'm very sorry. But you you just you have to you have to do what you say you're going to. You have to get good grades. Can I have some um can I have something delicious? No, you can have something healthy. You're grounded. Oh How about a yogurt? Can I have that? At least can I have that? Or do I have to starve? Of course you don't have to starve, Molly. You can have a yogurt. You can only have healthy things. No treats. You're grounded. Oh. Mom, can I go swimming in the pool? That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. Of course you can, Daisy. But I'm sorry, Molly. You're grounded. Oh, this is terrible. I'm just going to watch you, Daisy. You can watch, but you're not allowed to go swimming, Molly. I hope next time you've learned your lesson and you study for your spelling test. What if I studied and I still got a bad grade? Well, then your mom and I would work with you so you didn't get another bad grade. And that wouldn't be your fault because you actually tried. But did you try this time, Molly? No, I didn't try. And did you promise mom that you would? Yeah, I promised. And do we lie in our family? No, we don't lie. Then now you know why you're grounded. 
Oh, this is terrible. Ah, this is the life. Just relaxing in the pool, having a great day after school. Could I at least get on the slide, Dad? No, Molly, you're grounded. Oh, Daisy, you get to have all the fun. Actually, Molly, I didn't have any fun last night because I was too busy studying for the spelling test. So this is a well-deserved break. Ooh, I'm gonna get on the slide! Whee! Oh my gosh, is she okay? I have to go in and help her. I have to go in! Molly, get out of the pool! You're grounded! <laughs> that was so fun! Whee! Whee! <laughs> Molly, now you're grounded two days instead of one. Oh, worst day ever. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll just play with my cat. They don't want to tell me I can't play with my cat, do they? Mr. Meows a lot. I'm grounded. It's terrible. Molly, no playing with toys. You're grounded. But it's Mr. Meows a lot. No, Mr. Meows a lot until you're ungrounded. Well, what am I supposed to do? You can study. Study? Ugh, yuck. Stay out of trouble, Molly. Okay, I won't get into any trouble. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Do, 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 The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Do, 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 I love this TV show. Molly, I've got to watch. Hey! Molly, you're not supposed to be watching this. You're grounded. Besides, I want to watch the news. The news? That's so boring. Why can't I watch the brightly colored unicorn? Because, Molly, you're grounded. Oh, can I at least watch the news? Well, Molly, you must be desperate if you want to watch the news. But no, no TV. Oh... Mom, can I have some ice cream? I'm having a terrible day. Molly, no, you can't have ice cream. Besides, it's almost time for dinner. Am I allowed to have dinner? Don't be silly, Molly. Of course you are. Mom, I'm really sorry that I didn't study and I promised you that I would. That's okay, Molly. <sighs> I just hope that you've learned your lesson. School is really important. It is? Well, I don't think so. Except for recess and lunch. Those are pretty important. Molly... School sets you up for success when you're a grown-up. You have to learn these things. You're going to use them every single day. Why? Um, my computer just spells for me. Okay, yeah, but you still need to know how to do it, Molly. It's called being smart. Now, come on. It's time for dinner. Ah! Uh. Ooh, this book is so good. I love it. Can I at least read a book? Um, that is one thing you could do, Molly. Really? I can read? Yeah, Marley, but you always don't want to. That's not true. I love to read. That is true. Molly does like to read. And yes, that is something you can do to pass the time while you're grounded, Molly. Now, why doesn't everybody say one thing that they're thankful for today? Well, I don't have anything to be thankful for because I got grounded. Oh, Molly, there's always something to be thankful for. Why don't you try? Um, uh, skip me, please. Come back to me. Um, I'm thankful that today at work, I won an award. You did, dear? That sounds wonderful. Yeah, I was the best pizza eater of all of lunch. <laughs> uh, that's the award you won, Mom? Best pizza eater at lunch? <laughs> Man, you sound just like me. Yeah, Molly, you'd be surprised. You're just like me in a lot of ways. Well, Mom, I didn't know you could eat that much pizza. That's awesome. Okay, Daisy, why don't you go next? I'm happy and thankful because I got a good grade on my test. That's a great one. Okay, Molly, you're next. Um, I'm really struggling here. I don't know. I mean, I'm grounded. What's there to be thankful for? You could be thankful for the lesson that you learned to not lie to Mom. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. So grateful for that. Okay, Molly. I guess you get out of this one free this time. But next time you have to think of something you're thankful for. I know something I'm thankful for. What is it, Molly? I'm thankful that I can read books because I might go crazy during this grounding if I couldn't. That's a great one, Molly. 
Let's see. What am I grateful for? I'm grateful for this delicious smelling cheeseburger I'm about to eat. <laughs> that does sound good, Dad. Okay, everybody, dig in. Um, Dad, you ate all of the hamburgers. I did? Oops, I was really hungry. Oh, man! Excuse me, I have to use the restroom. Do, 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 ba, 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 do, do. Well, today I learned my lesson. Never promise your mom that you'll study and then not do it. You will get grounded and you'll make your mom really sad. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this awesome episode of Happy Roblox Family, guys. Let us know what you thought of it in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel where we put out awesome videos just like this one every day. Molly, I can't wait till you're done being grounded so we can play hide and seek. Yeah, me too, Daisy. Me too. Good morning, class. So, please take out your homework and um, we'll get started. Um, excuse me, Mr. Smith. I, I have to tell you something. Okay, Molly. Why don't you let me know after we go over our homework? Um, no, I, I have to tell you right now. It's super important. My mom said that I need to tell you at the beginning of class. Okay, Molly. What is it? We're going on vacation tomorrow for a week. <laughs> I can't believe it. I don't have to do my math. Correction, Molly. You probably will have to take your math with you. No, no, no. I don't want you to have to do math homework on your vacation. That's no fun. Wait a minute. You losers get to go on vacation and I don't? That's right, Sarah. You have to stay here and do lots of math. Yeah, and we're going to be on a sunny beach just chilling out. Well, I should be able to go too. Like, I'm the coolest in class. So, like, why do the losers get to go on vacation? We're not losers, Sarah. We're super awesome, and we have to go on a family vacation, so... Bleh. Uh, girls, please relax. Sit down, Molly. No fighting. Yeah, Molly, no fighting. Well, you sit next to Sarah next time. She's so annoying. Hey, I heard that, loser. Okay, stop calling me a loser because I'm not a loser. I'm the one that's going on a beach vacation. Maybe you are the loser. What are you talking about, Molly? I didn't want to say, you know, loser, because that's not nice, but maybe maybe she's just acting like a loser right now. Are you calling me a loser? No, but it's not nice to be so rude, Sarah. We're going on vacation, and there's nothing you can do about it. We'll see about that. Whoa, Molly, look at this resort. This is amazing. I know, Daisy. I can't wait to, like, have one of those shakes at the Shake Shack, go through the drive through Oh, my gosh, there's a donut shop? Wow, Molly, is that all you think about on vacation is your stomach? No, Daisy, correction. It's all I ever think about ever. <laughs> I'm just on vacation right now, so I'm extra thinking about all the delicious food I'm going to eat. Well, Molly, come on. Let's go get in the water first. We don't need to eat first thing. Speak for yourself, Daisy. I'm going to go get a shake. Ooh, these look delicious. Okay, I looked both ways. I just wanted to make sure I didn't get hit by a golf cart. <laughs> oh, hey there. How are you? Are you on vacation at the resort? Um, no, I, I actually just got a job here. Seriously? No, of course I'm on vacation. <laughs> Silly. Uh, I'd like one shake, please. Oh, I'm sorry, but our shake machine isn't working. What? N no, that can't be true. Are you kidding right now? Yeah, of course it's working. We're a Shake Shack. Duh. Mmm, this vanilla shake is delicious. Oh, I'll have a vanilla shake too. It looks so good. Um, you have to actually pay for it. Hey, wait a minute. Come back here. It's okay. They'll be back, I'm sure. Because once they taste that delicious shake, they're going to want a strawberry one and a chocolate one. They're so good. Molly, are you done feeding your face? Come on, let's hang out at the beach. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Ooh, this water looks so amazing. Yeah, let's get in the water. Whee! Molly, I love your bathing suit. It's adorable. Thanks so much, Daisy. I picked it out at the mall right before vacation. Ah, the water feels amazing. Unlike the water at home, which is currently freezing. 
I know you can't swim in any of the lakes or ponds or swimming pools at our house right now because it's still way too cold. But when you're on vacation at this amazing resort, you can. Absolutely. Ah, <sighs> this is the life. Marley, come chill out. You can listen to some music, just hang out, and get some all in all. Sounds great. Ugh, this is a huge lake I had to swim back from. <laughs> ah, perfect. <laughs> Seriously, Daisy, your bathing suit is a little uh, over the top. I love it. I think it's very stylish. Uh, if you say so, Daisy. Ugh. Hey, losers. What? Sarah? Whoa, 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 what are you doing here? Oh, Molly. She's wearing the same bathing suit as you. Embarrassing. Um, I got in your suitcase so I could come along on this vacation. You did what? You hid in my suitcase? Yeah, it wasn't very comfortable, man. That was a terrible plane ride. Next time when we go home, you can get in the suitcase and I'll sit in the seat. What? No! You're not even supposed to be on this vacation and you copied my bathing suit! <laughs> Sorry, Marley, it's kind of funny. Yeah, until you realize that Sarah is now at this resort on the vacation with us. Yeah, oh, your seat is super comfortable. Get out of my beach chair, Sarah! I don't think so. Like, you're such a loser. You don't get to go on vacation. This vacation is officially mine. OMG! Ah, this is terrible! Ah! Marty, just chill out. It's just Sarah. She's not that bad. Okay, I know you're in vacation mode, Daisy, so, like, nothing matters and nothing can bring you down and whatever, blah, 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 blah. But this brings me down. She's wearing my bathing suit. She came into my um luggage, so she's stuck here with us. I mean, what, what hotel room do you have? Yours, of course. You guys can sleep outside. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think so, Sarah. Hey, guys. Welcome to the resort. Is there any um thing I can get for you? We have delicious fruit punch. Uh, no, thank you. Right now, we're just trying to figure out how this person came on vacation with us who's not supposed to be here. Ooh, it definitely sounds like you need a fruit punch with a little bit of cherry on the side. No, no drinks. Ugh. Whoa, you really need this vacation, huh? Super not chill. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna go get in the in the water. I mean, that'll probably help me feel better. And then I can think about what to do with Sarah. Ugh. <sighs> Out here in the middle of the lake, it's just so peaceful and quiet. And there's no Sarah anywhere to be found. Oh, Molly. Can you come here a minute? Uh, no. Swimming away. Swing far away from her. Oh, she's so annoying. I can't believe she followed us on vacation. Who does that anyway? Only Sarah. Sarah the bully, that's who. I'll just go to this other side of the beach and like chill out. Ah, <sighs> that's much, much better. Yahoo! I was wondering when you're gonna get me my lunch. I'm starving. What? No, I'm not paying for your lunch. Well, you invited me on this vacation in your suitcase. What? No, I didn't! You invited yourself! Well, anyway, I'm here now on your vacation, so I expect you to buy me something for lunch. Absolutely not! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna run back to the um, hotel room and just lock the door. I I'm, I'm seriously gonna lock the door. Hi, yi, yi. So much better. Peace and quiet. Who follows somebody else on vacation? Rude! Maybe I'll just, like, watch some TV and, and like, chill out. Maybe take a nap or something. That sounds pretty vacation-y to do. Are you gonna get my lunch now or what? What? How'd you get in here? I locked the door! I have the key, duh. The people at the front desk, well, I just told them that I was on vacation with you and they gave me the key. OMG! You know what? You can have the resort room. I don't care. You can have all of it. Just don't follow me anymore, Sarah. Ah! Where's Daisy? How come she's not bugging Daisy? Daisy! Daisy! What? Why are you yelling? Chill out. It's vacation. Daisy, I don't know why Sarah's not annoying you, but only me. But it's getting, well, well annoying! Well, Molly, the reason why is because I'm not letting her annoy me. She only wants to annoy people that she knows she can annoy. Wait, what? That was kind of confusing. It's easy, Molly. Just pretend that she doesn't bug you and she'll go away. She enjoys annoying people. Oh, man, here she comes. This is going to be hard, acting like I'm not annoyed. Oh, I see you didn't get my lunch yet. 
Ah, uh, yeah, sorry about that. I, I was just relaxing, chilling out. Well, enough with chilling out and get my lunch. And also, I want a fruit punch. I'm super thirsty. Uh, yeah, maybe later. But right now, I'm just chilling. What? No. Why aren't you getting annoyed with me? Oh, I don't think you're annoying. I, I'm so glad you're on this vacation with us. Uh, maybe you can get me some lunch and some fruit punch. What? No! I'm not waiting on you. What do I look like, a waitress? Um, yeah, you kind of do. I mean, you came on my vacation uninvited, so I just figured maybe you wanted a job or something. <laughs> Molly, you're making her so mad. What? No! I'm not on your vacation. You're on my vacation. Then why aren't you acting annoyed with me? Nothing can annoy me. Ah, I'm in my happy place. This vacation's so bright, I gotta put on my sun hat. <laughs> I don't like that you're not listening to everything I say. Oh, I'm listening to it. I just don't care because I'm so relaxed. Well, I'm just gonna do an annoying dance in front of you. <laughs> it's super funny. <laughs> Am I annoying you now? No, but you're making me laugh. <laughs> I'm glad you came on vacation if you're gonna do these funny things. What? No! You're not supposed to enjoy vacation. The whole idea was to destroy your vacation. Well, good luck with that, Sarah, because nothing's going to destroy my vacation. <sighs> Nothing. Whoa! Look at all that lava! Holy cow! That was so close. Um, Guys, I am here with my entire family, and we are playing The Floor is Lava! Mom? Mom? Mom, where are you? Molly, I'm over here. I'm okay. Oh, I should have known. I should have seen your watermelon shirt. <laughs> Dad? You actually survived? Yeah, I'm getting pretty good at The Floor is Lava. Whoa, Dad, that's amazing. How come you're so short in this game? In, like, real life, you're so much taller than me. I know. I don't know why Roblox always makes me so short. <laughs> look at my mom and my sister look like a totem pole. <laughs> I want to. I want to stand up here too. Oh, where's Dad? Oh, Daisy. What? I don't like it when people are standing on my head in Roblox. Let's see if we can all like um stand in a totem pole on top of each other. Are you ready? Uh, okay, I'm on mom. Okay, I'm good next. Oh, I can't quite make it. Yeah! <laughs> okay, Dad, you're next. Dad, you knocked us over. Oh, sorry. Oh, the floor is lava. You sound like you're not even excited about that, Molly. I was more excited about the totem pole right then. <laughs> the floor is lava. The floor is lava. Ooh, look at the moon. That's pretty. Whoa! <laughs> Daisy, what are you doing? Daisy, what are you doing? Daisy, what are you doing? Trying to stay away from my annoying sister. Who would that be? I'm not annoying. Get out of here! I'm gonna squirt you with my squirt gun! You can't catch me! I'm way up in the sky! Whoa! I exploded. I like how at the end of the game you explode. Okay, totem pole time, people! Okay, let's go over by this... Um, Where can we go? We gotta go by the slide so that we can stand we can stand on each other's heads. Hurry up! We're gonna run out of time! Molly, we don't have time for this. But I wanna make a totem pole! Totem pole! Totem pole! Um, the totem pole's over here, Molly. Wait, no! I don't have time to get over there! Oh my gosh, I gotta use my balloon. Whoa, I went up too high! Totem pole! Totem pole! Okay, wait. Oh! <laughs> I failed. I failed at the total pole challenge. I am also failing at this. I'm stuck down here right now. And here comes the lava. No! Oh, thank goodness. The floor is lava. Floor is lava. Floor is lava. Molly, must you sing about it? Hey, where is everybody? We're dead, Molly. Cease. Oh my gosh, my entire family died! No! They're all ghosts! <laughs> I need to have some hot chocolate. Hey! I was trying to eat my hot chocolate! And everybody exploded. Okay, everybody race to the slide! 
We gotta make our totem pole. Come on. I'll be on the bottom. Come on, Daisy. Jeez, Molly, you're obsessed with the totem pole thing. Yeah, because I think it's gonna be hilarious. Yes! Guys, if we make a totem pole, will you guys um subscribe to our channel? Come on, guys. And if you're already a subscriber, will you like this video? Come on, Mom! Totem pole! Oh, yeah, just Dad now. Just Dad. Dad, come on. You can do this. Totem pole, totem pole, t -t 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 totem pole. Well, all the girls did a totem pole. Hey! Stop pushing over our totem pole. What's wrong with you? Okay, that wasn't our fault. Someone tried to push over our totem pole. I love Roblox. Yes, I do. I love Roblox. How about you? Do, do, do. I love Roblox. Yes, I do. I love Roblox. How about you? If you love Roblox, slam that like button. Come on, guys. Give this video a huge... Molly, seriously? Thumbs up! <laughs> ay, 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 Molly. I'm not afraid of your squirk on. You keep, like, pointing it at me, but I'm just telling you right now. I've got this giant balloon, and I'm not afraid. Whoa! Dad, you're the only one that has to do the totem pole now. Seriously, stop trying to ruin our totem pole, whoever you are. Camrad22, stop. Oh, maybe he's trying to help us. I'm too short. I can't jump up there. Oh, really? Okay, this guy's trying to jump up there. Too. Okay, help us. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you guys got to hit subscribe. We made a totem pole. Oh, <laughs> dad. Um, guys, ouch. You're really heavy. <laughs> Everybody's trying to do a totem pole now. Come on, everybody. Molly, get off of me. <laughs> Okay, that was the coolest thing in Roblox ever. Yeah, it was pretty cool, Molly. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm trying to fly away. Go oh, no! Daisy, you're going to melt your shoes. Mom and Dad, you're like in a really bad spot right now. You're probably going to get melted. I'm good at the floor is lava now. Well, you didn't pick a very good spot this time. I just stood next to your mom because I didn't want her to be alone. Aw, that's so sweet. Yeah, except for you're going to get melted by the lava. Whee! This is so fun! I have a gravity coil. I have a gravity coil. Molly, don't be rude. Okay, who's making a totem pole? Okay, I'm, I'm trying to, like, make a totem pole. Okay. I have, I have this um, balloon, but it doesn't really help me because I go up too high. Let's see? Oh, no! <laughs> Mom and I are in the same spot. Okay, Daisy, your turn. <laughs> Who's coming up next? Oh, we have like a double-decker totem pole. Oh, you guys are super heavy! Yeah, I told you. I was on the bottom last time, and I was like, ow! We have the craziest kids. Yeah, they're pretty cool, though. Oh, I gotta get in this castle. Um, I need to use my balloon to get up there. I don't take the stairs. <laughs> Taking the stairs is boring. Oh, I'm going to get melted in the lava. Daisy. Oh, my gosh. Daisy's a goner. Did say that, Molly. I'm standing on the top of this tree. Where's mom? Where's mom? Oh, my gosh. Both of our parents died. Well, we're better with the floor is lava than they are. I can't even get through this forest. It's too thick. <laughs> so many trees. 50 points awarded to survivors. That's me. Do, 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 do. My parents are already standing in a totem pole. Yeah, we're over the totem pole, guys. What? You were so excited about the totem pole at the beginning of the video. Yeah, and now I'm totally over it. That was so last five minutes ago. Oh, brother. <laughs> it was. It was so five minutes ago. Now I'm gonna play on the slide, walk up and backwards. Ugh! Ouch! That hurt! Molly, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I thought you would be. Okay, Dad, try not to die this time. Can you try? I'm gonna try really hard, but I don't know. Sometimes I just die. Okay, where's Dad? Dad, are you okay? I'm okay. Daisy, are you okay? Okay. Mom, are you okay? Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, Molly, are you okay? Where are you? I'm way up here. <laughs> I am the queen of the floor is lava. 
You lost with the queen of annoying songs. That's it, Daisy. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this ice cream cone at you. Molly! Just kidding. Who would ever throw an ice cream cone at somebody? Because, like, seriously, you'd miss out on all the delicious ice cream. Well, it's except for if you're in, like, a pie smashing contest or whatever, where they smash a pie or a cake in your face. I love watching those. Yeah, they are super funny. You want to try it right now? Girls, no smashing cake in each other's faces. <sighs> How about I just use the water gun afterwards, Mom? That will clean us all up. No, no, and no. Fine. I guess I'll just eat the cake. Mmm, it's delicious. Molly, you have so much cake all over your face. It looks like someone smashed you in the face with the, with the, with the cake. <laughs> well, they didn't. Now I'm thirsty. I need some milk. Mmm. Is everybody okay? Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. Uh, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. What? I can't hear you. Oh, only my sister would be like having a dance party during the floor is lava. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. A uh, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. A uh, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. But do ba boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. Okay, should we play one more round, guys? I don't know. <sighs> I think I've had enough of the floor is lava. Okay, well, I guess we can make one more totem pole. Ugh, I can't get up there. I'm too short. Ugh, I thought you were over totem poles. Nah, they're back in. They're back in style. Oh, boy, do Molly. I can't get up there. Oh, I need some help. Thank you. Thank okay, I'm going to stand on this guy. Um, No, you're too far away. I can't stand on you. I don't think he wants you to, Molly. Oh, I was almost up there. Ah All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks so much um, for being amazing subscribers if you already are subscribed because we love you guys. Ooh, smooth, Molly, smooth. What? I was worried about the lava. I couldn't think about what I was saying. But, yeah, here's basically what I was trying to say. I love you. You're amazing. Subscribe. Bye. Dan, are you home? Oh, there you are. I should have known you'd be watching TV. Oh, it was such a long day today. Tell me about it. Work was crazy. Well, come sit on the couch and relax for a minute, Laura. We can just chill together. Aw, that sounds great, Dan. So what should we have for dinner? I don't know. How about some uh, meatloaf? Oh, I don't know. I was thinking pizza. Or cheeseburgers! Ooh, that sounds delicious. Or maybe we should have breakfast for dinner. I mean, we're grown-ups, so we could do whatever we want. We could have waffles! Ooh, that sounds delicious! I'll go get them started. <laughs> I love the way you think, Dan. Hmm, these are delicious. Dan, you were supposed to wait for me, jeepers. Sorry, I'm starving. <laughs> Isn't our life so perfect, Laura? I wouldn't want our life to be any other way. Well, it is pretty great, I have to admit. <sighs> it's just, well, I feel a little, I don't know, lonely. Lonely? I'm sitting right here next to you. Yeah, I know. I don't I don't mean that I'm lonely, like, because you're here. I, 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 I mean, I'm lonely because I want a family. What? Uh, wait a minute. A, a, a baby unicorn? Actually, I was thinking there's so many kids down at the adoption center that need good homes. Maybe we could adopt one. Um, I don't know. We can think about it. I'm going to eat this waffle, though, right now. Dan, I'm being serious. Well, let's just do our night routine and relax and, like, talk about it tomorrow, okay? Okay, Dan. Oh, this is the life. Chilling in the hot tub. Oh, yeah. Dan, where'd you go? Are you going to help me clean up? Oh, uh, <laughs> oopsie, I'm already in the hot tub. Oh, Dan. <sighs> Good thing I don't mind doing the dishes because Dan hates doing the dishes. I hope when we have kids someday that they take after me and they don't mind doing them because there's going to be so many more dishes when they live here and so much more laundry. Laura, are you still thinking about a baby? Um, well, uh, yeah. I thought we agreed we're going to talk about it in the morning. Uh, yeah, okay. 
I could set up the um spare room with cribs. It would be so cute. I could make it I could make it like an adorable unicorn theme and and I would love that. Oh my gosh, she's still thinking about babies. She's even talking about it out loud. She's really serious about this. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready to be a dad. I don't know. I don't know. Dan, are you okay? It kind of sounds like you're hyperventilating. <laughs> Dan, did you just neigh? Well, I am a unicorn, you know. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, but you only neigh when you get really nervous. What are you so nervous about? I mean, being a dad. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we're really ordinary, except for the fact that we're unicorns. I don't think that that should matter. I mean, they can't just disqualify us to be parents just because we have a horn and a tail. And we're unicorns. I know we're unicorns, Dan. But we'd be amazing parents. We're going to be amazing parents. So what do you say? Tomorrow, should we go to the adoption center? I don't know. This sounds like a really big step in our lives. Yeah, but Dan, I think we're ready. Okay, I have to admit, I've been thinking about becoming a dad too. You have? For real? Yeah. Just, I don't know. I, I think, like, being a unicorn will... It, it's just different if you're a unicorn parent. No, it's not. Kids still, well, they cry and they want to be held and they want to drink bottles and they need to have their diapers changed. Whether you're a unicorn or whether you're not a unicorn or whether you're a unicorn parent or whether you're not a unicorn parent, it's pretty much all the same. Except for we have horns and a tail. Dan, Dan seriously, Dan, did you just like pass out? What's going on? Just the thought of being a dad is, like, so crazy to me. Ah, well, maybe he's just not ready yet. <sighs> no, 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 no. I think we're ready. Yay! You mean it? Absolutely. Tomorrow we'll go to the adoption center. Yes! <laughs> Dan? Dan, are you awake? Oh, I am now. Oh. Dan, it's it's adoption day. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Laura, it's it's 4.30 in the morning. I know, but today's the day that's going to change our lives. Oh my gosh, Laura. <sighs> I can't wake up this early. You better learn how, Dan. This is exactly the time kids wake up, start crying for a bottle. Wait, what? We have to get up this early? Are you serious? Oh, I can't even crawl out of bed right now. Oh, Dan. <laughs> you should be excited. We're going to be parents. I'm excited. Just give me some coffee. Nay. Oh, man. Oh, Dan, don't be nervous. Come on. This is going to be amazing. Okay. Uh, um. Don't worry, Dan. I'll do the talking. Hi. We're the unicorn family, and we'd like to fill in an application for adoption. What? A unicorn family? Are you serious right now? Uh, yeah, we're totally serious. We're unicorns. See our horn and our tail? Uh, <laughs> just my luck. Perfect. Oh, well, I'm glad you think that we're amazing applic applicants for um, adoption. Uh, yeah, no, I can't talk to you right now. Yeah, I know you're my boss, but I don't care, okay? I I've got something to do. Bye. Oh, wow. <laughs> Surprising you don't get fired. If I did that with my boss, I totally would. Dan, shh. We're trying to be nice to her, remember? We want to adopt. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> that was totally okay that you were rude to your boss. <laughs> You're not going to get fired or anything. Yeah, sure. Not fired at all. Dan, shh. Sorry. I'm just a little nervous. Um. So, um. yeah, I'm going to take my three wishes now. Wait, what? Yeah, my three wishes. <laughs> what do you mean three wishes? You're a unicorn, so I want some wishes. Oh, <laughs> very funny. We're here to adopt the unicorn family. We want to adopt. I don't care if you want to adopt. I want my wishes first. Uh, you've mistaken us for a genie. We don't grant wishes. Well, then I don't grant adoptions. Um, actually, honey, if she wishes for it, we have magic. So she can actually have the wishes. What? Since when? I thought that was only genies in a bottle. Ugh, you don't even know about your own species. Pathetic. So let's talk about my wishes. Then could we talk about um the baby that we're coming here to adopt? 
maybe. But let's talk about my wishes. My first wish is to be the richest Roblox player ever. Okay, your wish is my command. What? Louis Vuitton? Amazing. And look at this huge bag of cash. Uh, yeah, but you're rich now, so, uh, you don't have to wear the jeans with the holes in them. Like, you can afford jeans that actually are all sewn together. What? No, this is totally in style. <laughs> this is exactly what I should be wearing. Well, I'm glad you're happy with your wish. Now, do you think that maybe we could, um, see the children that need adopting? Yeah, we want to adopt! Did we mention we're the unicorn family? Um, Dan, she knows you have a horn and a tail, and she just made wishes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Whatever. Okay, so for my second wish, I want to be famous. Um, you actually have to say I wish. Oh, I can't believe I'm even saying that. I wish that I was famous. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm so famous. Look at my microphone. P-I-G-G-Y. A piggy's after me. P-I-G-G-Y. A piggy won't just set me free. Oh, um, yeah. You're a super good singer and stuff. Yeah, best singer ever. And dancer. Don't forget I'm an amazing dancer. Um, good thing I made her famous because I don't think she'd get there off her singing and dancing skills. I know, right? She's terrible. What? What'd you say? Um, nothing. You <laughs> said you're amazing at being famous. Hello? Brookhaven Adoption Center. How can I help you? What? You want Karen's autograph? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> yes, I know I'm a kid, but I, I have to work here because Karen makes me do all the, all the chores. <laughs> yeah, I answer the phone. I don't know. I guess you can come in and get an autograph. Bye. Who is calling so many times? Hello, Brookhaven Adoption Center. How can I help you? What? You want Karen's autograph? Oh, my gosh. What is going on? Why does everybody want her autograph? Karen, Karen, everybody wants your autograph. They're all calling the number. Karen, what What, what are you doing? I'm dancing, duh. I'm totally famous. Uh, um, okay. A P I G G Y. A piggy is after me. A P I G G Y. A piggy won't you set me free? Wow, you sound like someone who does really bad karaoke. What? No, I don't. I'm famous and I'm rich. I'm the richest player in all of Roblox. Um, okay. How? <laughs> because you weren't rich before. Um, that would be because of us. Whoa! Are, are, are you guys really unicorns for real? Yup. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura. And I'm Dan. What's your name? Oh, I'm Molly. <laughs> nice to meet you. I think that's so cool. You guys are unicorns. Yeah, apparently Karen thinks it's cool too. Since she's been making me grant wishes for her for the last hour. Wait, what? Karen? I don't care what you have to say. You're just a kid and you're dumb. Go away. What? Uh, 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 fine. <laughs> Karen, I don't think that's the way you should be talking to the kids here. That's really rude. How do you still have a job? Be quiet, unicorn. I still have one last wish. Um, I don't think so. I'm not going to grant it. You have to. Oh my gosh. Please adopt me and my sister Daisy. She's mopping all the floors right now and cleaning the toilets upstairs. Karen makes us do all the jobs here. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Oh, is your sister about the same age as you? Yeah, she's just a little bit younger than me. Ah, oh, We'd love to adopt sisters, wouldn't we? Well, you are pretty adorable <laughs> and you seem pretty smart and nice too. That's awesome. Yeah, so will you adopt us? No one is adopting anyone. You owe me my wish. Um, okay, but I don't know if this is such a good idea. I mean, you seem kind of, well, evil. Hmm, I gotta get on my computer and print out an adoption paper. Then the unicorn parents can be my parents. Got it. Hey, guess what, Karen? <laughs> I have the adoption paper. They're gonna be our, our parents. Daisy, we've got new parents! Get back here with that, you little brat. Nope, I don't think so. 
Karen, you can't catch me, Karen. You're slow, you're slow, you're slow, you're slow, you're slow. You're slow, you're slow, you're slow, you're slow, you're slow. I wish you'd give me that paper. Uh, your wish is my command. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did I just use my last wish? Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I take it back. Sorry, Karen. You can't take your wishes back. <laughs> what are you laughing about, you little brat? <laughs> Seriously, what are you laughing about? <laughs> I'm laughing because Daisy printed another copy of the adoption papers. And now we're out of here, Karen. No! I can't believe it. You guys are actually going to be our parents. We can't believe it either. Molly, I can't believe that a unicorn is going to be our mom and our dad. Can we have wishes? <laughs> Only if it's Christmas, girls. I can't give wishes all the time. You guys will turn into spoiled brats. What? No, not us. We'd never be spoiled brats. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Molly. I want all the wishes. OMG! Don't be a Karen, Daisy. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm nothing like evil Karen. Jeepers, I hope not, since we're all going to be living in the same house. Speaking of house, do you want to see where you live? Yeah, totally. Let's do this. Well, welcome home. Uh... Go on in. See what it's like. Uh, guys, this, 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 this is a, this is a barn. Mmm, this hay is delicious. Anybody hungry? Dad, um, I don't understand. We're inside a barn. You're eating hay. Of course I am. <laughs> Unicorns are pretty much horses with giant horns on their head. Wait, you, you, you live in a barn? That's right. Isn't this amazing? Uh, well, at least we don't live with that crazy Carolyn anymore. <laughs> this hay will make a pretty good bed. Well, I guess we can check out what's up here. Uh, this, this could be a pretty good bedroom, I guess. Marty, the hay's not too bad. It's pretty comfortable. See, I'm sleeping on it. Um, we're, we're cool with living here. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Just, Dan, you can stop eating hay now. I don't know. It's kind of good. Dan, we're unicorns. We don't eat hay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I guess that will give me a little bit of a stomach ache. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's so funny. Can you guys tell us? Of course, we don't live in a barn. We're just teasing you guys. Oh, really? You don't? Okay, that's a relief because I thought maybe because you're part horse, we really would live here. But we're not part horse, so can we live in a real house? Of course, we have a real house. Don't be silly. Come on, we'll take you there now. This is our actual house. Whoa! Mom and Dad, unicorn, this is great! Was that a pool I just saw? Yeah, of course, we have a pool. We have pretty much everything. OMG, a hot tub. Can I get in? Please, Mom, please, please. Sure, but do you want an ice cream first? Yeah. Um, Can I just go in the kitchen and get it? Of course you can. This is your house now. But just remember, you can't have ice cream always. Sometimes you need to eat healthy. Don't worry, Mom. I will. Mm, but this ice cream's so good. At the adoption center, we never got to have ice cream or anything delicious. Yeah, that's so true. Aw, well, you have a family with us now, and we're going to take very good care of you. That's right, girls. Hey! <laughs> Did you just neigh like a horse? He does that when he gets nervous. No need to be nervous. We're going to be the best daughters ever. Yeah, well, I will be. Sometimes Molly gets detention. Daisy, shh! You get detention, Molly? You seem so sweet and nice. Why do you get detention? Because she doesn't always do her homework. Daisy! Well, I think we're going to have to work on that, huh, Molly? Uh, we could try. <laughs> I'm kind of terrible at doing my homework. And then when I do it, I kind of forget it at home. Well, I could always just get it there in a split second because I'm a unicorn, so I'm magic. <laughs> I could snap my fingers and it'd be there in a second. Plus, I'm super fast, so I could just run to the school. Okay, Dad, calm down, calm down. First, I actually have to do my homework. Yes, and you'll be doing your homework every night. Okay, but can we get in the hot tub? Sure, Molly, but don't forget to put your bathing suit on. Bathing suit? Who needs one of those? <laughs> yeah, who needs one of those? Ah, this is the life. Except for, well, uh, my ice cream is melting. <laughs> Mine 
too, Molly. Ooh, I love our new house. We are so happy that you're our daughters. Aw, we're happy too. Thank you.